Um, so I'm from Cork mm -hmm. and where I lived was a place called Monard Mills, M-O-N-A-R-D, which means high turf, moan, ard, but, um, which means that the water is always brown, the water that was always brown there. But uh, it's a shovel mills, um, spades, shovels, uh, gates, forks, that sort of thing. Um, it was known as the mills, the iron mills, the shovel mills, anything, but it was Monard Mills. And it was it started in 1795 and my great, great, great grandfather was one of the first workers there. And when the mills were built, they built workers' houses in 1798, the year of the rebellion. And uh, my, he would have been, his family would have been one of the first people living in those houses as well. So this is why I kind of want to show you basically because it's a mill, it was worked by water power. And the river comes in at the top of this pond here and it worked its way down through the valley, down on the slope. And there's weirs on the way and there's a mill at each weir. So the water power actually worked the hammers and all the different equipment in the, in the weir. So this kind of gives an overview of, I think, of what it looks like. After just coming out of the, of the furnace. So that's actually like little pieces, of, yeah, pieces of steel that are kind of breaking up. But that was his job. That's my dad, actually. But um, like even to look at the hammer, the old-fashioned timber mm -hmm. hammer and um, there was a, it, there's another part I have a film actually about that was made back in 1936 about the mills and it's absolutely brilliant but there was another thing they did was stamping now that was for shovels and it was like a guillotine but it, it's the shape of a shovel instead mm -hmm. of yeah. and, <laughs> and uh, the, the things came out red hot out of the furnace put into the machine that was my dad's job and he just pulled the hammer <laughs> pulled the side um, thing and the thing came down and shaped them into it then you'd have to take them out very very fast and put them onto an anvil. And there's yeah. the the horn of the anvil, yeah. and then he'd nar he'd hammer the um, the part that, would, that the handle would go into eventually mm -hmm. there. But that was what he did. And uh, this just one other the mill then, mm -hmm. and uh, this would be the first mill as you came in through the gate that would be beyond the lowest mill wow. altogether. And now you'd want to see that now that was taken about oh, that would have been taken about 20 about 15 years ago and it was very sad the next time i went down the the wheel now that's where the wheel there used to be um a timber uh, gutter kind of coming across from the weir and that would turn go onto that and there were buckets of timber but the, the wheel was steel but there were timber buckets and all the way around so when the water came in it filled the buckets it and it pushed it way around and we had the little bridge with a river on both sides, a garden on both sides. And um, we had, my dad made the little bridge to go across and uh, that was visitors. We always, the house was tiny, we had no running water. Now remember the, the houses were built in 1798, so there was no such thing as running water or anything like that. But visitors, there's two there from England, three from England and two from Dublin. And where they're staying in Menard, <laughs> in our tiny little house. But everybody loved it there, it was beautiful. Yeah. And that's Tom the Swan, <laughs> <laughs> who's in everything. And just up the road from that then, these are the, the forges. Where yeah. the, the mills are where the big, heavy, heavy work is done. Mm. But in those forges, they used to label the spades and shovels and they polished they, well they, they would get polished as well down in the in the main mill but they put the labels on them then or if they had to be trimmed or cut or anything like that so that's where that was done i i can go as often as i guess my cousin has it now and he's yeah. like a bit, um it's just it's awkward to get to because um cork has changed an awful lot and i find they, they've changed all the roads around where I used to live before that you came out from town, you came past Bangle Hill, out to the Commons Road, Blarney Road, and you went to Blarney, around by the bog and that sort of a way. You can see in the pictures here actually it shows, one of these now kind of shows it a little bit. Over there, you see this, that's the green field, you probably can't see it very oh, well, but the road, the main road to Blarney went that way. Mm and uh, the bus used to go along. So when I was halfway up the road here, I could see the bus coming and I could run for that because it was kind of parallel with it. But we lived about a mile and a half from the bus stop.